Uh, the one thing I am curious about, though, is how well did episode two do in the ratings? Mm. Yeah, I'm fascinated with that. Yeah, we'll see. Can, we'll can, see. can you look that up? Because I'm sure the numbers are out. Um, uh, okay. Ratings, The Rogue Prince, House of the Dragon, episode two. That's my... Oh, here we go. Here we go. It's on Variety. Okay. Oh. Bad or good? Um, episode two actually drew more viewers. Oh shit! There we go. We're back. In... Okay. Well, episode <laughs> because episode two was slower. Episode three is gonna be the real. I, I wonder how much we're gonna get for episode three. That's gonna be the real test because season because episode one a lot of people yeah. did really enjoy. It was a fairly decent start. This episode was a bit slower to set everything up, of course. But I want to see how much um people come back for in episode three. But that's that's now, a good now, sign. That now, some people, some people may wonder how can it be that episode two would have a a bigger premiere than episode one, and the reason is is that, um, at the premiere moment, you you have a certain number of viewers, but then the rest of the week people watched, and then like and then then when the next premiere came, then everyone like wanted to watch it immediately. So like when people talk about like these premiere numbers, it's like who wanted to see it immediately. So, uh, the the premiere was eventually watched twenty by twenty million um, views. I don't know, if, you know, twenty million people, twenty million views was the was the original. And then, I mean, it started at ten million the night, and then it then over the week it got an additional ten. You could argue that some so people now, chose to yeah. skip it because the the episode leaked. Yeah, sure, or you know, or. Um, you know, maybe maybe they read reviews and said, "Yeah, it's, maybe I'll give it a shot." Gonna be honest with you, um, hope it leaks again. If uh, because uh, I love getting the head start on that shit, I love it. Mm, yeah. mm, 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 I love it so great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it says, but they say that they're actually the now for the premiere episode, the numbers are approaching twenty five million. Oh damn, that's great. So that's that's fun. Mm-hmm. I, I'm happy. You know, once again, like you and I are very lukewarm on the first two episodes, and uh, they're they were decent. They were very decent, bordering on good. Good, decent, yeah. But I'm happy people are, like, coming out and defending it. Um, happy and not happy at the same time. It's bittersweet because then we get called assholes and all this crap. <laughs> so yeah, you yeah. get called a grumpy old man. I get called a douche. It's the usual. But I'm happy people are defending it as much as they are because that just means Game of Thrones is back. Because I don't remember anybody defending Season 7 and 8 as much as they're defending House of the Dragon. So clearly... Clearly, there's uh, the fan base is coming back in force, and uh, yeah, um, it seems like the casual fans are also really enjoying it, which is a really good sign. Um, I don't want 100 seasons, 100 years. I would like three seasons, realistically, and then maybe season four, we do um, Aegon the Unhappy, or you know, so on and so, and just go go forward until Robert's Rebellion. That's what I would like, realistically. <laughs> we'll see. I mean. We'll see if they can, you know, I mean, Star Wars, I suppose, there's people still are watching, even though there's just all these shows that we're getting inundated with. So may, maybe Cinematic Universe for Game of Thrones. I don't know. Uh, if we're going to do a Cinematic Universe, I wonder if they're going to, like, make the title House of the Wolf and do, like, the Starks next or, like, House of the Lion. Well, if you're doing Snow, you're already getting you're already getting a uh. Stark, so... <laughs> Or House of the Lion. Like, I- I'm down with... Look, if they want to do, like, spinoffs where it's, like, House of the Wolf, House of the Lion, I'm completely down with that. But what I would say is let it be, like, five episodes. It does not need to be, like, 30 seasons. We don't need Supernatural here with 17 seasons. Please, love of God. House of the Wolf, House of the, the-, the Lion. Or ha- House of the Kraken. <laughs> Maybe a movie for House of the Kraken. I don't know. But we don't need this like, crazy big thing. Uh, is there anything else you wanted to say about the episode? Because this was... No, no, that, there's really that, not much to talk about. It's, you know, straightforward, cut and dry. No, no, that's about it. Yeah. Also, uh, before we sign off, are you ready? For episode three? No, for Lord of the Rings in a couple of days, baby! <laughs> <laughs> Lord of the Rings! The Rings of Power! In a, in, to, oh, prepare, because... It's going to be two episode premiere. Two episode premiere, really. Mm-hmm. And then later on in September, three episode premiere for Andor. Oh my god. <laughs>
just, just, just shoot me. Just shoot me. <laughs> On that note, guys, thank you so much for joining us. As always, we'll see you all next time. Have a good one. <laughs>